up from my window Sun's coming up like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and into my home. I am so excited to be filming this small office that I'm setting up for myself. We carved out a spot in our master walk-in closet that is just enough space for me to be comfortable. I have spent weeks researching what I want and need in this space, from the colors to the functionality of what I need to use it for. I'm always searching for quiet areas in my home so that I can do voiceovers on my videos. I'm telling you that this microphone picks up on everything. So if the TV is going in the other room, the microphone will pick it up. So I really needed a quiet area that is away from all that noise. I also want an area that I can use as my vanity. All these years, I have never had a vanity. Well, at least not one that I didn't have to share with my daughters. So I'm gonna set up a little spot to hold my skincare and makeup. I purchased an amazing makeup mirror that I'm so excited to start using. I'm also going to review some of the main products that I use in this makeover. I love watching honest product reviews from other channels. None of these products are sponsored. After careful research, they were all bought and paid for with my own money. Nonetheless, I will link the products in the description box. Clicking on that link never cost you anything, but if you choose to purchase something, I will get a small percentage of that sell. All right, I'm finishing up wiping down all these areas so that way we can start decorating a fresh space. We can spend all day in bed. I really wanted to have a feature wall that my desk would face. I took weeks to choose a peel and stick wallpaper. I researched so many to find the one that is really good quality, but that wouldn't break the bank. It's not as cost effective than if I were to paint the wall, but painting the wall just wasn't the look I was going for. These are the tools that I bought in a package together, with the exception of the scissors. I only paid a little over $7, and each of these products were extremely helpful. All the new homes in Texas have this knockdown texture. As you can see, it's very textured. These textured walls are not ideal for wallpaper and especially peel and stick paper. When choosing a paper, I kept in mind that I should look for a paper that appears to have some texture and the linen look of this paper should help camouflage the texture of the wall showing through. I'm also adding floating shelves that will further break up the pattern and the texture. Do anything for what we started But this time we could break I run and dry everything's the same I decided to start here on the right side of the wall. On the left, we need to cut around the shelf and I didn't feel confident to tackle that my first time trying to use peel and stick paper. However, with hindsight being 2020, and had I to do it again, I would have gone from the left to right to avoid all the added cuts that we had to do on the left side. You'll see what I'm talking about in just a bit. The process of using this paper is simple. As long as you remember to leave a couple of inches above the window and being careful to match the patterns on the sides. As you can see, I have plenty of chances to lift and reposition the paper. This wallpaper isn't stretchy, so there's no concern that it'll be misshapen by all this manipulation. One thing that I didn't think about before I started this was how was I going to work around the window seal. While I'm looking at this, I'm thinking that I'm going to wrap it to the inside of the seal. However, upon further inspection, the seal was never painted, so it has a raw chalky compound and the paper probably wouldn't stick to that. So I'm going to go ahead and use a razor blade to cleanly cut around the edges of the window. I'm using the wallpaper tool to push out the bubbles and to get it good and pressed down. I'm really manhandling this paper with this tool and it hasn't scraped or torn the paper whatsoever.
Michael was gracious to help me get to the high spots. Because on the first trip that I did, I was sorely reminded that my left shoulder is still frozen. And although I'm gaining some range of motion, it's still not ready to reach that high. But Michael was not thrilled about being filmed today because I have neglected his hair. You know what they say, the cobbler's children have no shoes. Well, the hairstylist's husband is the last to get his hair cut. I feel so bad. I really need to get that done for him. You got me thinking about all of the problems in us. No, it's sad, but we both know. Maybe it's time that I let, let you I accidentally used the end of this roll that was supposed to be used above the window. Thankfully, it was a quick fix. When I get these stubborn bubbles, I give it a clean edge puncture with the tip of the razor so that the trapped air is released and the paper lays flat. Last year, I did a huge declutter and organize video of this master closet. It has been one of my highest watched videos on my channel, and to this day, I still get comments on it. It was a major transformation that took us days to complete. I will link that video at the end of this video for you to go see. But you will see in that video that this corner that we're working on was used for storage with the plan to eventually turn this area into a functional space. And if I remember right, we were considering putting my husband's Nordic Trek bike here. But I personally think that this is a much better use of the space and we can just go ahead and move his bike into his office area. If this is your first time clicking on one of my videos, let me introduce myself. My name is Michelle. I'm the mom to three moms and a son. I started this channel to encourage other women to reclaim peace in their lives through cleaning, organizing, and setting up routines. Currently, I'm posting videos on how I zone clean and why this method works so well, not only to keep a tidy home, but also for the perfectionist who sometimes forgets to stop and enjoy life. If you're interested in this type of content, I would love to have you as a subscriber here. I enjoy getting to know you, so please leave me a comment telling me your name and where you're from. I have gotten to know many of my subscribers on a personal level, and I hope to get to know you too. If you haven't already, we can follow each other over on my Instagram feed. Over there, I'm given more time to share more about my life and my family. I also like to post time-lapse videos for a little boost of motivation, not only for you, but for myself. You can find me at momtomoms.inspired. Still can't believe get to fall asleep with you in my bed. Here is the area that I ended up realizing that I should have worked from left to right. Michael and I had to choreograph a full routine to get this up here. Had I started on this side, we would have been using a full sheet of paper and not having to deal with not only cutting around the shelf, but also the window and the corner of the wall. It was just so many variables that we didn't account for. Thankfully, it did all turn out just fine. Watching these clean cuts is the most satisfying part of this process, if you ask me. Oh, oh, oh. With you, with you. 
With you, I'll do whatever you want me to To do, to do Cause I've never felt like this before And I want to even since I can't reach, not only because my left arm is messed up, but also I'm really short and even at the top step, it's hard for me to reach the top here. Anyways, since I can't reach, I'll have Michael work at the top. It's nice to have the help, but one person can put this paper up by themselves. I'm very pleased with this purchase. The paper is so nice. Before we bring in the desk, I'm going to show you close-ups of how well this paper worked on these textured walls. Since the ceilings are so high, I really wasn't concerned with using this large of a pattern in this small space. What I looked for when choosing the paper was the texture and its ability to disguise the texture of the walls. I also wanted it to have a calming repeat pattern. If you watched last week's video on overcoming perfectionism, then you know why I needed this. I'll link that video at the end of this one. All right, now it's time to start decorating. These are the floating shelves that I'll be adding above the desk. They are a nice white matte finish and the instructions are so easy to follow. When I was researching for shelves, I was purposely looking for a shelf that was attached to a metal post and not that flat metal plate that you attach to the wall. I think they call that a French cleat. Anyways, the only issue that I had with these shelves is the plastic mollies. They weren't sturdy and they would bend easily, but we did have some extra ones that I ended up using to put these shelves up. This shelf is attached to the metal bracket with screws. I purposely flipped it over so that I can place the screws on the top of the shelf so that they wouldn't be seen under the shelf. This shelf is kind of high so when you walk into the room you see the underside. So I wanted to be sure that you weren't going to see the screws. On the second shelf I did do it the opposite way where the screws were underneath the shelf. Since it'll be lower you won't be able to see the screws underneath there. I bought this beautiful wall art from Kirkland's. I love the color and the texture. When I decorate with grays, I like to warm up the space with a warm color. And this frame is the perfect jumping point for the warm color that I want to add in. Here's a few decorating pieces that I recently bought from Home Goods, and we'll be using it in this space. I'll try to show you a price for everything, with the exception of the candle. I took the price tag off of the top of the candle before I remembered that I was going to show it to you. On this bottom shelf, I'm going to add my skincare. The bottles are pretty and worthy of being displayed. 
I also love pops of greenery. Since this is a closet, a real plant would be hard to care for down this low from the window. Although eventually, I would like to add a pothos at the top of the closet on the shelf next to the window. I don't want to be here and let them pass me by. I won't see your face. Want to, but I'm gonna try when she left me. Yeah, but a little bit inside, you know, you know, maybe things are gonna be alright. Cause I just wanna see the light. Yeah, I just wanna see the light. And here is that awesome vanity mirror I bought. It is a perfect size of 14 by 12, and it has 180 degree rotation. It has natural bright lighting. And with a smart touch control, it can turn on and off and adjust the brightness. I like that it's thin and that the base doesn't take up too much valuable space on the desk. I was also looking for a mirror that is tall enough for me to look straight into while I'm sitting. I hate looking down into a mirror when I'm applying my makeup. I bought a set of three footed trivets off of Etsy, I believe. I'll show you the store name on the bottom of the trivet here. I would link them, but after having these a while, I'm not really happy that I can't use them around the sink as they advertise that I could. But if you're looking for them to use in other areas of your home, these are really nice. In this drawer, I'm gonna put in all my makeup. I love these drawers in this desk because they extend all the way out. There aren't any hidden spots in the back of the drawer. I'm going to use the same organizers that I've been using to hold my makeup. Once I try the positioning of them for a while, I will then add the white poster putty to hold them in place so that they don't slide around. In this drawer on the left, I'm going to add the organizers that I had in my bedside tables to hold all my chargers and pins, and I'll also add in the notebook. Since my early 20s, I have carried around with me a day timer. At the end of 2019, I was excited to try out my first Erin Condren planner. However, the events of 2020 put a stop to scheduling, so I never really used it. And now, thoughts of using something like that gives me a lot of anxiety. Until I can deal with this, I've decided to use this desktop weekly planner. It has all of my favorite boxes, including a habit checker, to-do list, a top three area, and a daily area to add in appointments. I will link this down in the description box. Since I'll be adding all these electronics onto the desk, I need to have enough outlets to plug them into. Unfortunately, since this is a closet, there aren't a lot of outlets, so I'll need to add one of those outlet bars. But I don't want to see all the cords under the desk, so I'm going to show you how I hide them all. We always have a spot in our home that can use a zip tie. So I bought this huge pack of varying sizes. I'm going to attach two longer ties to give me enough slack to be able to pull them tightly. <laughs> Now I can easily plug things in and out without seeing all the cords on the floor. I even looped the outlet cord and secured it to the bar with a zip tie. Everything is out of sight. I was really hoping that I was going to be able to give you a review of the desk chair. Even though it was very simple to put together and it's comfortable, I really can't recommend it because there's a few flaws in the material of the chair. I would return it, however, I bought this a couple of months ago and I only just now pulled it out of the box. So the return time has passed. But anyways, here's the area all finished and decorated. I am so pleased with how it all turned out. I love the dramatic effect of the wallpaper and the warmth of the baskets and the wood. Everything feels clean and uncluttered. I hope that this video has given you inspiration to put together an area for yourself. 
If you like this video, would you please give me a big thumbs up and let YouTube know that you appreciate my content? And don't forget to click that subscribe button and press that notification bell so that you get reminded every time I post a new video. In the coming weeks, I have some exciting videos coming where we're going to be transforming two bathrooms in my youngest daughter's home. She is taking back her master bathroom as her own space and moving her three daughters into their own bathroom. So we will be setting up her master bath into a relaxing retreat filled with all her favorite things. And in the girls' bathroom, we will design it to accommodate the gap in ages. So don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of those videos. One of these videos will be in collaboration with another sweet YouTuber that you may already know and love. I'll see you again next week. Until then, stay blessed, my friends. Me, you too.